Here is a multi-page drawing I'm working on in Microsoft Office Visio 2007. Notice that I have my company logo, some text, and a faint watermark that says draft on every page. The fastest way to create and repeat elements like these is to put them on a background page and then apply that background to every page I want them to appear on. I can do that to any type of Visio drawing. Here's how I added my logo and watermark to this one. Let's start with the drawing as it was before I added the logo and watermark. In Visio, creating my own backgrounds is an easy two-step process. First, I create the background page. And then I assign that background page to as many pages of my drawing as I want. On the Insert menu, I click New Page. On the Page Properties tab, I click Background to create the background page. Notice that the name changed to Background 1. I can name my background page anything I want to, but for now, I'll just leave it Background 1 and click OK. Here's the blank background page I just created. I can see the name of the page in the row of page tabs at the bottom of the drawing window. My background page will always be the last tab in the row of page tabs after all the foreground pages. Now I can put whatever I want on the background page. Visio shapes, clip art, pictures, text, it doesn't matter. First, I switch to another file that has the logo and text that I want to use, select them, and copy them. Then I switch back to my original drawing and paste them onto my background page. Next, I click any foreground page in the drawing. I can't see the background yet because first I have to assign it to each foreground page. To do that, on the File menu, I click Page Setup and then the Page Properties tab. In the Background list, I click Background 1, the name of my background page, and then click OK. My background page, with the logo on it, now appears in my drawing as if it were part of the foreground page. But notice that I can't select anything on my background. If I want to change anything on my background, I have to do it on the background page. I'd like to add the word draft as a watermark. So I click the background page tab, and now that I'm on the background page again, on the standard toolbar, I click the text tool, click the middle of the page, and then type draft. Because it's a watermark, I don't want it to stand out too much. So on the formatting toolbar, I select a light blue-gray from the text color tool. I want the watermark to stretch across my drawing, so I resize the text and drag the rotation handle on the text shape to about 30 degrees. That does it! Now, let's make sure the background is showing up everywhere I want it to. I'm going to another page in my drawing. The background doesn't appear there yet because I haven't assigned it to that page. Unfortunately, there's no way to assign the background to all the pages in my drawing in one fell swoop, so I have to assign it one page at a time. To remove a background from a page, I just undo the background assignment. On the File menu, I click Page Setup again, and on the Page Properties tab, in the background list, I click None, and then OK. I can also print a foreground page without the background showing up. On the File menu, I click Print, and then select the No Background checkbox before clicking OK. Here's one more thing you should know. Removing a background assignment isn't the same as deleting a background. My background page is still in my drawing, and I can reassign it whenever I want. To permanently delete my background page from the drawing, first, I have to undo its assignment to every foreground page that uses it. Then, I right-click the background page tab and click Delete. That's it. Creating my own backgrounds is a straightforward way to make sure my Visio diagrams look great.